This is topofthecircle.com unfiltered for the 16th of March 2023. Today, USA Field Hockey published the rosters for a pair of U16 and U18 touring young women's national teams that will be going across Europe and other places um, over the course of 2023. And these teams include a lot of star players, including uh, new stars such as Reese Diariano, um, who was the young player of the tournament in the uh, FIH Women's Indoor World Cup. But of note also um, are a couple of players who help make an interesting trifecta, making the under 18 national team is a senior uh, named Macy Bradford. Making the junior team, the under 16s, uh, for the Vulcans Ward tournament is um, Jordan Holloman, whose older sister Josie Holloman just happens to be on the United States women's national team. Now, I know that there have been plenty of high schools who have done very well um, over the last 25 years um, in putting young women um, in the national team pool, uh, both at the senior and the junior levels. But uh, when was the time that you saw um, three players from the same high school from a town of a little bit more than... Uh, 2,000 people um, on uh, the border between the states of Delaware and Maryland. I haven't seen anything like it. Um, and I keep on telling people how good Delmar has been um, over the last three years. I mean, uh, for me, they are the signature high school team of the COVID era. Um, and uh, yes, they have won seven state championships, and they have uh, won more than 100 games in a row um, as a high school team. Um, and you won't be able to blame them if uh, they ha suffer a fall-off in form this coming fall with uh, three out of the four cousins um, having graduated. But... Um, Watching that team playing the hockey that they did, um, you know, it's um, a wonderful time capsule. And having three players on three different U.S. national teams is something I don't think we're going to see for a long time. 